What is up you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Carrots J and again we're back again for another ukulele tutorial session. <laughs> seven day upload challenge and I'm so excited to share this with you because we will be learning together Nung Tayo Pa by Janela Salvador. To start with, don't forget to click the subscribe button below and don't forget to ring the bell as well so that you will be notified once new videos are out and please also like and share this video to your friends and fam. Shout out to Kimberly Leslie. Shout out to Twins Heart. She's my good friend. Shout out as well to my friend um, Mrs. Hilla. And shout out as well to, I don't know actually how to pronounce its name, but it's H Z K H M. Hello to you and thank you so much for the song suggestions. Um, shout out to Marie Ferramore. She's my good friend. Queen and King Travels and Vlog. Shout out to you guys. Of course, Ate JMC. Shout out One Day Someday. And uh, shout out as well to my. Pinoy Keto fam. <laughs> shout out to Coach Christine and Mitch of Pinoy Keto 101. Lastly, shout out as well to my Sambuanga YouTubers fam. And thank you guys for supporting me. Just a short disclaimer guys. This video might be long because I will be answering this question given by one of my friend um, Jeff TVPH. Link on the description box below. Um, and for the first question is, I will answer it right now. Who are my five favorite um, content creators. Top 5 on my list is Will Desovich. Eventually, si Will Desovich talaga yung first na favorite ko na YouTuber. Um, I started subscribing to his channel when he has his 10,000 followers or subscribers pa. And the vlog squad, of course. Fourth on my list is Bisayang Hilaw. But he is just so underrated. Ang ganda na kanyang films. He loved the Philippines. <laughs> he loved this country and he know how to speak Ilonggo. Marunong din siya magsalita ng Bisay. Of course, that's why Bisayang Hilaw and konting Tagalog. Third on my list is Alex Gonzaga. Of course, the humor of Alex Gonzaga is really lit and I just love her. Um, siya yung pinaka favorite ko na YouTuber last year's um, last quarter and this year's first quarter. Second on my list is Ruffy Tulfo in action. I know um, meron siyang editors and everything but I, I just love the content kasi you learn something from it and I think it is very helpful, lalo na sa akin, um, because there's this loss and everything and I'm just so into Rapid Tool for right now. Mga hashtag Tool Flex tayo dyan. <laughs> Number one on my list is I just love him right now. She is my new obsession as of the moment. I always love her videos. I think that's enough and go ahead and grab your ukulele guys and let's go ahead and learn this song together. What I have with me will always be my Sopranal ukulele with a standard tuning of G, C, E, and A. And let's go ahead and start with the chords first. Guys, we will be learning together five chords. Alright, to start with, we have the D minor. Place your first finger on the first fret second string. And your second finger on the second fret fourth string. And another finger on the second fret third string. The next chord here will be the easiest one and that is the chord of C or C major. All you need to do is to place your finger on the third fret's first string. One, two, three. The next chord that we need to learn here is the B flat. Now all you need to do is to bar the first and the second string, it's so the first fret, it's just like this, barring. Barring means holding the strings together with one finger, right? And the next finger on the second fret's third string, another finger on the third fret's fourth string. Have the B flat minor. All you need to do is to bar the first frets first up until the third string. So one, two, three. So bar it using your first finger. You can add a little pressure by placing as well your second finger here and third finger on the third frets fourth string. And the last chord that we need to learn here is the F major. And all you need to do is to place your first finger on the first fret second string, another finger on the second fret fourth string. Let's go ahead. 
ahead and proceed sa ating strumming pattern. Now for this song, we have three types of strumming pattern. And okay, to start with, we will be learning first the intro. So I thought I single down strum per chord. So in every chord, so intro natin, we'll be, we will only use one down strum. Ayan. Yung ating verses and the chorus has the same strumming pattern and down, up, up, down, up, up, down. Let's try the verses first. Let's try it sa ating chorus naman. Last strumming pattern here is for our refrain. Alright, so yung strumming pattern natin for the refrain is down, down, then switch to different chord, down, down, and switch to a different chord, which is down, up, up, down, up, up, down. So we are already done sa ating strumming pattern, and the third part for this lesson is our chord progression. So here on the screen is our chord progression from the intro down to the outro. Well, eventually yung outro natin naman is just the same yung ating chorus. Basically, ito yung ating song. We have the intro, verse 1, refrain, chorus. We have the verse 2, refrain, chorus. And then we're gonna repeat the chorus and fade. Sa 
Okay, so yun yung ating second song for this challenge entitled Nung Tayo Pa Janela Salvador. Yeah, and if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to click that subscribe button below. And don't forget to like and share this video as well to your friends and fam. And thank you so much for staying with me until the end of this video. And if you have any song suggestions, then please comment down below.